When conservationists discovered the world's newest crocodile species after years of sloshing through mangroves and swamps from Senegal to Uganda, the elation was tempered by the knowledge that it was on a path to extinction. Now in its struggle to survive, the West African slender snouted crocodile's fate is tied to a zoo in the heart of Ivory Coast's economic capital Abidjan. A zoo that also faced an uncertain future not long ago. Essentially what we did was we kind of looked at some of the historic literature, and I don't mean from 20 or 30 years ago, I mean from 150 years ago, at what some of these very early British and French natural historians were recognizing about crocodiles across the landscape and what they were describing as unique species based on what characters and why. And um, some of them made sense more maybe made sense, some of them didn't. We kind of overlaid um, some of those hypotheses about species on the landscape, the West and Central African landscape, and we said, okay, well, we've got a bunch of deserts here, we've got a mountain chain here, we've got habitat that's totally not appropriate here, it's never been appropriate for the past 20,000 years. In 2011, following a decade-long political crisis and a contentious presidential election, civil war broke out in Ivory Coast. Soon, gun battles were raging in the neighborhoods surrounding the Abidjan Zoo. Tia Lama, who has worked there for nearly 25 years, was one of a handful of dedicated employees who braved the violence to feed and care for the animals. There was nothing to eat, especially for the primates who like to eat papaya tree leaves. We had to go outside to get them food to eat. There were personnel who were stepping over dead bodies to go out looking for food. If we didn't, what were the animals going to do? They didn't ask to be here. Presently, the zoo is slowly recovering with new animals. Some three dozen adult crocodiles lay stretched out in the dust or bobbed motionless in their newly upgraded pond at the zoo. They represent the largest captive population of West African slender snouted crocodiles in the world. It makes it a very critical uh, institute for the future of the species. It means that we actually have the potential to kind of live the dream of this team in the 80s and, and re-implement captive breeding, take those babies um, and re-put them back into the wild for either restocking areas that have gone extinct or augmenting populations that are just hanging on by a thread. Um, and Cote d'Ivoire in that respect is also one of the most important countries in the region as it has you know, some, some fairly decent forest blocks, it has a decent network of protected areas, has some interesting community conservation areas that uh, we're finding we can actually work with the people and, uh, and, and restock. The zoo also has a breeding program for the crocodiles and is receiving assistance from partner organizations in the United States. And though a lack of easy access to specialized equipment has forced a certain amount of improvisation, survival rates have been remarkably high. Currently, no more than 1,500 West African slender snouted crocodiles are believed to exist in the wild, scattered across a territory extending from the Gambia to Nigeria. Authorities in the zoo are currently negotiating with the government to reintroduce these crocodiles back in the wild, first in Cote d'Ivoire and then elsewhere in West Africa. Jean Keo, CGTN.